Hey, it's a good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Drew Borick. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or up above in the easy to use widget. This is going to be the next video on the women's prelims in the Olympics. This is another 3 to 1 win. This time, not for the Czechs, though, as it was earlier. This is a 3 to 1 win for Japan over the Swedes, as Japan really brought the fire and spunk on offense in this game, almost doubled up the Swedes uh, in shots. Um, as the shot total in the overall game was 42-27, and the Swedes really didn't get a push until late in the game, where Japan demolished them in shots uh, in the earlier periods. Um, when it comes to the first period, Japan beat them 15-8 to in shots on goal, and then, of course, were the team to walk out uh, with a goal. And then when it comes to the second period, they beat them 15-7 to in shots on goal. And the only reason Sweden was really able to get his goal by Prasad was a goal that uh, Fujimoto would want back uh, in net uh, because she was not really able to corral it. And, and it went basically through her as nine times out of ten, that's likely a save. Uh, that is made there, so that was a bad goal allowed, in other words, and that was the only lone goal Sweden was able to get. The only offensive push Sweden really had in this game was in the third period when they showed some spunk and showed some push. Um, when they pulled the goaltender and throughout that period when they were able to actually beat um, the shot total of Japan in that period, but that was kind of the, it's too little too late, and then Fujimoto, who is a very good goaltender from what uh, I've read on what they've said, I, as I said again in the page video, I'm still learning women's hockey, but I figured I'll do videos on it because it's really fun to watch in the Olympics and so on and so forth in the world, whatever. But she played amazing, minus that one goal that slipped through. She really stepped up in the third period for Japan when they started allowing more chances at that time. Fujimoto did really step up. Uh, this is a totality, though was a good goalkeeper game by Soderberg and Fujimoto because Soderberg really kept Sweden in this game to allow them to have a push in the third to give them a chance. But the big damning thing in this game was when the Swedes had that chance from like the 13 minute to the 11 minutes minute ish mark of this third when they had that power play somewhere around there. When they didn't capitalize on that, that felt like the last huge chance for them. And then it was like Japan was getting some chances again. Um, and, uh, Soderberg was coming up big on saves, but Fujimoto was coming up big when, when Sweden went down the other way, and then they got the, uh, empty net goal to seal it, um, in this game. Japan's, I would say the play of the game, though, <clears throat> was that very nice neutral zone play, just like the Czechs had a very nice neutral zone play in the earlier game. Uh, they had a very nice, uh, neutral zone play in this game, uh, for, uh, the Japan goal, uh, in the... For the Ukita goal, uh, which made it 2-1 to one, uh, when they were able to chip it up in the neutral zone. And she was able to go in on a breakaway and absolutely snipe that top shelf over Soderbergh. Where it seemed like with Soderbergh, that was the only place you were really going to beat her today uh, for a second goal. And that's how they were able to get it. And then the third goal was, of course, empty net. Uh, she played a hell of a game. Fujimoto played a hell of a game, minus the lone goal in by Sweden, which is a goal that she would want back. But minus that, she stepped up and stood on her head in the third period. Uh, for Japan when they did allow some chances that you would not really want to allow when you pin the greater team throughout the entire game, hands down, even though the score was only a one-goal difference at that point. Uh, you didn't want to allow Sweden to feel like they were getting back in it like they were at times in the third. But Japan held on, and overall, I would give them a A-, minus, uh, just like I gave the Czechs uh, in that game, because they did allow the Swedes to have a little bit of a push in the third that you would not really want to see. Uh, if you're Japan, from how good you played early, but but they also played a great overall game, almost doubled them up in shot, minus the push in the third that they allowed the Swedes to have a little bit, and then iced it with the empty net goal. Um, th they stopped the power play in the third, like I said, which I think was the biggest damning thing for the Swedes after that, and then they just couldn't really get much going. So Japan played a great overall game. They just allowed a little bit too much of a push, I think, probably for some of their fans in the third period from the Swedes. But they're just, they'll keep going, and they probably will potentially be one of the three teams from this group to move on. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. This has been a reaction to another 3-1 to one game, as there was a huge defeat with the Canada game. Otherwise, it was been two very good close games. 3-1 to one is the Czech one earlier, and now 3-1 to one Japan reaction to them beating Sweden. Everybody have a great time and pleasant day and enjoy the rest of the Olympus and enjoy the rest of the hockey you watch all around the world. Peace out everybody.